Hamas security forces in action soon after they came to power in late 2007. Human Rights Watch says police brutality remains a problem, not only on the streets, but inside Gaza's prisons. In this report, we found that the Hamas authorities are arbitrarily detaining people, denying people in detention access to their lawyers, in some cases torturing people, and in the worst cases are executing people based on confessions that were given under torture. We spoke to one young vocal opponent of Hamas who says he's been arbitrarily arrested dozens of times over the last five years. The beatings and the humiliation continued for several days. Once they stripped my leg and an investigator burned my foot with a cigarette lighter. When I tried to pull my foot away, another policeman held me down and they buried me again. In Gaza's prisons, such treatment is not uncommon, according to today's report. Unusually, Hamas allowed Human Rights Watch to announce its findings in Gaza, reflecting perhaps a greater openness to criticism than in the past. After the so-called Arab Spring, Hamas does not want to be tarred with the same brush as Hosni Mubarak's Egypt or Muammar Gaddafi's Libya, where anger at police brutality fueled popular uprisings. Nevertheless, when I met with Hamas's deputy foreign minister, he denied widespread abuse. Maybe we have some, some violation from, some, from time to time, but it's not kind of phenomena or something is wide, that it's, it's uh, used in, in, in all centres here and there. So but you accept it happens, but a few bad apples maybe doing that? A few, a few, a few yeah, any, uh, uh, events or few uh, cases happen here or there, but in general, I can confirm that, that there is no tortures. Hamas often complains about prisoner abuse in Israeli jails, torture by rival Palestinian security forces on the West Bank. Today's report by Human Rights Watch acknowledges that happens, but it also says it's no excuse. John Donison, BBC News, Gaza.